Over the past few months, Tesla has been stretching itself to the absolute limit, investing more and more money into expanding its Model 3 production lines and ramping up Model 3 production, as well as continuing its extensive research and development on the upcoming Tesla Semi and second generation Tesla Roadster. This includes Tesla building a temporary structure in the parking lot of its Fremont production facility to expand Model 3 production as quickly as possible, while simultaneously undergoing a major internal restructuring to keep overheads as small as possible. Even with restructuring, however, Tesla needs to build more cars and more energy storage products in order to turn a profit. And with its two gigafactories and Fremont production facility all operating as close to capacity as possible, Tesla has been on the lookout for a new gigafactory location for some time. And it's just found one in the Shanghai Lingang Industrial Zone in China. Like Tesla's Gigafactory 1, where Tesla currently makes all of the batteries it needs for its Model 3 sedan, and the Tesla Gigafactory 2, where Tesla makes photovoltaic solar panels, the newly announced Gigafactory 3 will be a massive structure capable of high volume production. Unlike the Gigafactory 1 and 2, however, Gigafactory 3 will be so large that Tesla says it will be producing half a million cars a year when it's running at full speed, as well as all the battery cells, battery packs and motors that those cars need. In other words, this is going to be a massive one-stop shop for Tesla, where raw materials come in one end and fully furnished electric cars come out the other. Tesla says it's already in the process of obtaining all the necessary permits and approvals and hopes to begin construction on the facility in the near future. Vehicle production is expected to start two years after the start of construction, with the half million vehicle per year milestone expected to be reached two or three years after that. If Tesla can keep to its own schedule, something which it's really struggled with in the past, this whole announcement could see Tesla more than double its current vehicle production in the next five years over today's current production volumes. And that's very good news indeed for the electric vehicle industry and anyone who wants to see electricity succeed in taking over from fossil fuels as the vehicle fuel of choice. But the fact is this, the new Gigafactory in China is even more important for Tesla in some ways than the fact that the facility has been announced. And it's all to do with the market in China, Tesla's current overheads and politics. You see, right now, Tesla, like many other US automakers out there, is currently feeling the burden of the ongoing trade war between the US and China. Despite appearing to come to some concessions over import tariffs between the two countries earlier this year, and China announcing it was slashing import taxes on US car imports from 25 to 15%, things are heading downhill fast. Because the US recently announced $35 billion of import taxes on Chinese-made goods entering the US, China has retaliated, dramatically hiking taxes on US-made cars, meaning that automakers like BMW and Tesla have been forced to raise the prices on vehicles imported into the country. In Tesla's case, that means an entry-level Model S 75D now costs the equivalent of $128,500 US dollars from a Chinese buyer, up from $107,400 US dollars before the retaliatory import tax took effect. As for the Tesla Model X, well, the high-end P100D variant now costs the equivalent of $240,000 US dollars in China, which is about $90,000 US dollars more than you'd pay in the US. Admittedly, part of that increased cost comes from the cost of shipping finished cars from California to China, but with or without tariffs, the same problem exists. Chinese market Teslas are a lot, lot more expensive than they are in the rest of the world. Making Chinese market Teslas in China, then, is a great move for Tesla, as it's to dramatically reduce overheads, and as one of the first companies to build a new factory in China that is not partly owned by a Chinese company. Tesla will retain 100% ownership. The company looks to be in a very good position indeed. I should note too that producing Teslas in China will be cheaper for non-Chinese market cars as well, since it's likely that wages and labor laws in China won't be as high or as strict as they are in the US. There's nothing to say that Tesla will pay its Chinese workers less than its American ones, but I'm guessing even a living wage in China will be less than a living wage in America. Of course, there is one fly in the ointment, how Tesla is going to pay for this all. With more Tesla Model 3s coming off the production line and Tesla aiming to get Model 3 customer handovers down to just five minutes each, 
Cash flow should certainly improve in the next few months, but considering Tesla's first Gigafactory costs more than 5 billion US dollars to build, Gigafactory 3 isn't going to be cheap, even if you factor in the lower build costs associated with the production of a Chinese facility versus some other parts of the world. And neither Musk nor Tesla has detailed how this is going to be financed, so we're going to have to wait a little longer to find out. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Subscribe to both of our channels and if you fancy it, support us using one of the two links below or by buying something from our shop. Oh, and why not enter our new giveaway on the channel to celebrate our impending 50,000th subscriber. We're not quite there yet, but we've teamed up with Oscar and Hamish, who make tailored handmade luggage for your electric vehicle to give Transport Evolved subscribers the chance to win a custom frunk set for either a Tesla Model S or a Model X. If you'd like to buy one of your own, you can also get a 10% discount by using the code in the description below. To take part, follow us on Twitter at Transport Evolved and Oscar and Hamish on Instagram at Oscar Hamish and tell us both about the adventures you'd go on with a custom handmade set of Model S or Model X luggage in your car using the hashtag evolved luggage. We'll run the competition until we hit our 50,000th subscriber, so you've probably got a few days left to get your entries in. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep evolving.